Yeah, I'm concerned. I am concerned. You know, it's just sad, you know. Balloons along a fence in West Baltimore. This is where family and friends held a memorial vigil for eight-year-old Dylan King, who attended Matthew P. Henson Elementary. He lived just a couple of blocks away in this house on Presbury Street. He died after getting shot in the head. It was sad, man, and it still is. You know, it still is. Police made an arrest. The boy's brother, 18-year-old Devin Wilson, is charged with first and second degree murder and assault. The weapon used, according to investigators, a long-barreled shotgun. All of a sudden you hear this screaming and yelling. Then we found out that the child died, but we still didn't know exactly what happened until like a day later. According to a court charging document, immediately after the shooting, Devin Wilson called his mother and said Dylan had been shot. When Wilson talked to his stepfather, he claimed his brother accidentally shot himself. A neighbor rushed over and performed CPR, trying to save the boy's life. The court document goes into more detail about what happened prior to the shooting. It indicates Devin Wilson had previously purchased the shotgun from an unknown individual, and Devin has recently expressed interest in shooting guns. His mother and stepfather had taken Devin to an indoor gun range for his 18th birthday. They both were aware that Devin had purchased the shotgun after having sold or traded a puppy for it. Another tragedy in the black community, but it's, it's children. And that goes to show you how easy it is for a child, 18 year old boy, to get a shotgun. Not a pill, he had a shotgun. You know, that's, I mean, it's just, that's how easy it is. The charging document also reveals this. According to police, the purchase of the firearm that Wilson made would not be considered illegal because he's 18 and because he has no known criminal background. Also, police tell us that they are trying to find out more about that weapon. They want to know where it came from before Wilson got it. Reporting from East Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.